Welcome to a new video from Epsi Moss Path. This is Mo, and I'm glad to be your presenter today. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing how we can use OpenWebUI initiative on the GitHub website to chat with open source large language models, and we're going to see how we can use Alarma to achieve that goal. The agenda for today's video is going to be starting with installation of dependencies and some requirements, and then we're going to be showcasing how we can use Alarma in terminal to chat with open source large language models, and then we're going to be jumping to OpenWebUI to see how we can use it to chat with open source large language models. And we're going to end this video by showcasing how you can export fine-tuned or custom-made large language models to Alarma so that you can use them under OpenWebUI. I've created separate videos which I'm going to be putting the link for them in the description below about how you can install OpenWebUI Linux and also how you can undertake the process of fine-tuning large language models using Unsloth. I haven't understood what we're going to do today, let's dive in. Concerning the dependencies and the requirements, the first one is Python. You can go to python.org forward slash downloads and then you can download whatever version that you would like to have and then you follow the steps for installation. The second dependency or requirement would be Ulama. Ulama allows you to run large language models locally. So you can go to ulama.com and then you can press on download and then follow the steps for the installation. Ulama provides huge support for lots of the models that you can run locally on your machine. And the way to run Ulama is open a terminal window and then type in Ulama list to make sure that Ulama is already running on its local server and at the beginning you will not find any model so the way you can download models is through llama pool and then the name of the model so let's choose one of the models for example it's llama pool and then the name of the model and then for running the model you will say llama run and the name of the model i have these models as you could see on the screen let's run llama run llama 3 and then 8 billion it's going to take a bit of time to run a llama and then it's ready. I would say, write me a short story about a computer program. And then it's gonna spit out the text super fast as you could see below. In order to exit, you would say forward slash or you could write forward slash by. The third dependency is open web UI. Open web UI, it gives you a front end with a chat like structure that resembles chat GPT where you can type in your query and you choose whatever model you want and then it's going to spit out the answer for you you can also add documents and query these documents the beauty of this system is that you could also add your own custom built or fine-tuned large language models and then you can use them for your own benefit so you can go to the link of github.com forward slash open dash web UI forward slash open dash web UI and then you can find the installation procedures. The easiest way to install open web UI is opening a terminal window and then type in bib install open dash web UI. I do have open web UI already installed on my machine. That's why you see requirement already satisfied for everything. The next step will be open dash web UI and then serve and then you press enter. It's going to take a fair bit of time to run the service. And now the service is up and running. You can now access open web UI by opening a new web page and then type in HTTP semicolon and then two forward slash local host and then semicolon. 8080 and then if you press enter that's what's gonna appear to yourself it's gonna ask you or prompt you to sign in first put in a username or password this is used in order to moderate if open UI is used by multiple people as you can see here I have multiple models which are already loaded you can see what models I do have through llama list and these are the list of models that I do possess we can initiate a new chat by press it on here and choose any model. So let me use the Llama 3.2 vision model, for example. And then let's pick up any image, go instruction columns for argument's sake. Let me take that image and then copy it, go to open up UI 
and then paste it and then could you describe the image please it's going to take a little bit of time because that's the llama three-point division model i think it's 11 million parameter model about eight gigabytes 89 gigabytes i do have an rtx 3090 so i have to about 24 gigabytes of storage and as you see here it contains concrete pillars dirt and sand trees in the background now let's ask another question how many columns are there in the image six columns of pillars so one two three four five as it said five or six so that's how you can use it with ready-made open source models that are existing on the Ulama models library. One of the most amazing use cases of OpenWPI is that it enables you to add in your custom or fine-tuned large language models. So the way to do this is go to the user icon on the bottom left-hand side of the screen and then go to administration panel and then go to settings and then you'll find the word models. In here, you can, first of all, you can refresh all the models that you do possess in case you download lots of new models using Alarma. And also you can go to the experimental at the end and then add the GGUF models, whether you download them from the Hugging Face website or you have them locally on your machine. So you can click here and then choose whatever model that you want and then press on upload. The main problem that I faced is that I did that and the model was not reflected in any chat at all. It was not existing in here. So there is a work around this, which is exporting your fine-tuned or custom model to Llama. And I'm going to explain to you how to do this. So go to the place where you have created your custom or fine-tuned large language model. For me, it was this RICS APC master. I have created a separate video before about this large language model. In simple terms, it's fine-tuned on the RICS APC submissions, and for those who are not used to the construction industry, RICS stands for Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, and APC is Assessment of Proficient Competence. This large language model is trained on high quality data for the RICS APC submissions to help potential candidates nail the submission. So I wanted to create a model file that enable converting that GGF file into a format that is understood by Olama. So I've created that model file and I'm going to be showcasing the explanation right now. So create any new file using new and then create any TXT file and then remove the TXT from it as you can see here. So it doesn't have any extension. Let me showcase that one to you in Notepad. So the file is as follows. It starts with from and then goes to parameters and then it goes to a template. And then lastly, it ends with a system prompt. I have put in lots of hashtags as sort of explanation for what I want to do. So the from, it should be from and then the name of the model. In my case, my model is not already on Olama's website. So I had to provide the full path name of the file. And then it's now time to define the parameters that you want your file to be equipped with. The way to do this is super easy. If you go to a website of Olama and then go to whatever model you want, let's say we're going to go to Llama 3.1, which is in line with my fine-tuned model, you will find that there are parameters and a template and a license. So if you click on parameters, it has a stop for the start header and end header and end of token. And if I go back to that notepad, you will find that there's a parameter of stop for the header ID, end header ID, and end of token ID. For the template, it follows the same process. If I go back to template, I have copy pasted the whole thing and I put it under template. So template and then three inverted commas and then the whole template and then three inverted commas. And lastly, the system prompt. So the system prompt, I've done the same. The system prompt is gonna be different from one person to another depending on the use case i have used o1 on chat gpt or open ai to create to me the most professional system prompt and then i added some tweaks to it in order to make it more usable make sure that you have system in lowercase you have also template in lowercase 
you have parameter in lowercase and you have from in lowercase because that is essential for the next step. The next step would be go to the folder where you have saved your model file and your GGF file, right click anywhere on the screen and then open in terminal. It's going to open that terminal window for you and then all what you need to do is type in Olama, create and then the name of the file or the name of the model that you want, let's say it's model1 and then dash f and then the name of the model file that you have let's call it model file and then if you press enter and everything's going to be created yourself in order to check that what you have done is working perfectly fine once you have done this go to alarm and then, and then type in alarm list and then i have found it here I've called it RICS APC Llama 3 underscore 1 Instruct Conversational that was created 19 hours ago. You can now go to Open Web UI and then go to your icon here, user icon, and then go to Admin Admin Panel, go to Settings, and then go to Models, and then do the classic update. It's going to take a fair bit of time, especially if you have an outdated model that is going to be repulled from Llama.com. I have pulled all of the models recently, that's why it was updated in a fast way. Let's open a new chat, let me select that one that I've done here, and then let's type in, give me a good example for the competency, procurement and tendering level, level 2. At this level it's all about the doing, so I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be expecting lots of advising of the client in this case. So let's see the response. On a local authority housing project, I was one of the key team members. Uh, as part of this exercise, I helped. So it's all about the doing. Uh, I helped as well. I also helped. That's fine. So let's try level three. Level three would be all about the advising. So we're going to be searching for the word I advised or I envisaged or something along the lines. And as you can see here, my contributions to the team were advising on the time and cost impact of each option as the quality assurance process that needed. And that's exactly what I'm searching for. Also here you'll find my contribution to the team was advising on the time and quality impact of the delay between stage 1 and stage 2 in the submissions. So it's giving pretty accurate results uh, to the furthest of my knowledge. And that is all for today's video. I've collated all of the projects that I'm working on and I'm going to be adding more and more to my GitHub web page. You can find all my repositories on github.com forward slash moashore93 and then you can go to the repositories and then you can find all the work that I'm doing on the repositories. If you go inside any of the repositories, especially the convert books to podcasts, which I've prepared five videos for, you will find a very holistic readme page with lots of details about what is required, what is the end product and how we can build this whole project. And also I'm uploading here all the files that I've used to build these projects with lots of explanation inside each of these files. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you found this video useful and insightful. I've prepared a couple of them other videos about fine-tuning large language models and deploying them to open web UI. I'm going to be putting the links in the description below. You can also pay my website a visit at www.apcmasterypath.co.uk where I provide multiple packages for the RSS APC candidates to support them throughout their RICS journey. Also, I provide lots of insights about the RSS APC process the different areas of competence and how you can deploy AI within the construction industry. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that you get notified about our latest videos.